In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friend, it is April the 18th, Thursday, and our gospel passage is taken from John chapter 6, verses 44 to 50. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone who has seen the Father except him who is from God. He has seen the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that a man may eat it and not die. I am the living bread which comes down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of our Lord. Today's Gospel passage is the continuation of Jesus' teaching on the bread of life. Jesus declares that he has seen God his Father because he has come from heaven. Jesus also states that we hear God the Father's voice through him and through the Holy Spirit because the Father draws us to Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Jesus reminds the Jews that they cannot be his disciples unless God his Father draws them to him and teaches them. The magisterium of the church has repeated this teaching in Vatican II. Before this faith can be exercised, man must have the grace of God to move and assist him. He must have the interior help of the Holy Spirit, who moves the heart and converts it to God, who opens the eyes of the mind and makes it easy for all to accept and believe the truth. That is Vatican II, Dei Verbum, paragraph 5. Once they become his disciples, Jesus will feed their souls with the bread from heaven. And this heavenly bread is his own body, blood, soul, and divinity. Eternal life is reserved for such disciples. This eternal life is a life of love, fellowship, communion, and union with God. Holy Communion is the wonderful banquet at which Christ gives himself to us. The bread which, shall, which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. Hence, let us receive the glorified body and blood of the risen Lord Jesus in the Holy Eucharist with a repentant heart 
proper preparation, reverential fear, and grateful joy. Thank you. Let us pray. God of heaven, God of earth, God of angels, God of archangels, God of patriarchs, God of prophets, God of apostles, God of martyrs, God of confessors, God of virgins, God who has power to give life after death and rest after work, because there is no other God than you, and there can be no other, for you are the creator of all things, visible and invisible, of whose reign there shall be no end. We humbly prostrate ourselves before your glorious majesty, and we beseech you to deliver us by your power from all the tyranny of the infernal spirits, from their snares, their lies, and their furious wickedness. Deign, O Lord, to grant us your powerful protection and to keep us safe and sound. We beseech you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a productive Thursday.